All right, so it's it's a legacy episode for Cedinho. I think we can put it that way. Quarterfinals, Champions League. It couldn't get bigger than this. Real Madrid over two legs. First leg away at the Bernabeu. We only just sneaked past Lyon. I mean, yeah, 3-1 to be fair, so we'll, we'll take it. But Real Madrid over two legs is not going to be easy. The good thing is, I'm pretty sure Real Madrid are in the mud in La Liga at least. Like, let's take a look at this. Yup, they're fourth. 20 points behind us, so if there was ever a time to get a result past Madrid and make it to the semis, it is now. So I'm hoping we can pull it off. In other news, I'm pretty sure we've unlocked a few new traits. Like, I I'm 100% I'm sure. How do I put them on? I think it should be here. All right, there you go. Um, We've definitely unlocked Swerve Pass and Flare Pass. So I think we can this year have more than five traits. So we'll put them all on. Why not? Flare Passes, which means, you know, we can do some back heel flicks and all that sort of stuff. So finally, a few new traits for the man, the myth, the best Brazilian of all time, Cidinho, the blue haired machine. Well, we're giving him definitely some new traits. Hey, okay. So we're changing boots for this episode. I like this one. Bit of gold, bit of classy. Well, we'll run with this for this episode, guys. The Adidas Predator 20 Plus. Let me actually show you guys that on your screen right now. I'll just move my face cam a bit. There you go. You guys can see it. Looks pretty darn amazing, I must say. So I think we can get into our first game of the episode. Real Madrid, two legs. First leg's gonna be massive. They're playing Guedes at center forward. No wonder these guys are in the mud. Madrid are fourth in the league for a reason. Joaquin at CDM. But remember, on penalties, Cedinho had a chance to win Bars in the Super Cup. He ended up missing. So, yeah, I'm not sure. He definitely wants a bit of revenge, I guess. But that's the team. Oh, Araujo, 80 rated. I think because we're like five, six seasons in. There's that. So he's partnering up with Van Dijk. Dembele, De Jong, Fati, Nunes all starting. Let's do this, man. The pressure is on. It's, it's probably the biggest game he'll ever play, Cedinho. These couple of games against Madrid. Because everything is on the line. Let's go. With Messi's departure, do you guys think this fixture is now dead in the water? I don't think so. It's going to maybe take a hit in the early run. But let's be honest, the Clasico has been epic for decades. So I think the rivalry and everything will continue to live on. But of course, it's a big miss not having Messi and Ronaldo anymore to lead the Clasicos or even Ramos. But oh well, our job is clear here. Knock Madrid out. There's still Cidinho playing. The crowd have definitely come to watch him. 100%. Facts. Trust me. Oh, the ball roll actually worked. And now we're bringing it inside. We need to make most of this. It's a good ball for Darwin. No, why laid off? Dembele. Back to me. Finesse shot. Trying to open up that space. But Courtois with the save. I legit sent Darwin Nunes through. Why didn't he just run through and score? Oh, we need to get the ball soon. Otherwise, they're going to just create, create, create. Sergio Roboto finds me well, and now we can hit them on the breakaway. I'm playing this one for Darwin Nunes. He's decided to stop, but he could play it to me. Here we go. In an El Clasico. Cedinho with a chance to score, and he's done it. Oh my word. Cedinho has just scored in a Clasico. Champions League quarterfinals. Just like how Messi did it all those years ago. He's done it in the Champions League on the big occasion. Oh my god, remember last season we did so well in the Champions League, carried a Dortmund team that were pretty average, I mean, decent you could say, to a Champions League final, and now here we are, leading this Barca team again, past Real Madrid, hopefully, at the Bernabeu, Cedinho has scored, big freaking goal, guys, come on. Oh, good tackle, guys, we're putting in a complete performance, defensive duties as well, just what you want to see, and now I could release this one. For Ansu Fati, an unorth unorthodox pass. And he could play it back to me. Chips this one for Nunes instead and it's gone in. Real Madrid are in the mud. Pass it on. 2-0 Barca. Darwin Nunes with the header. Yo. W yeah. I I'll take it. Did you guys see that pass initially from Cedinho? Left foot. I don't know how he spun like that and managed to put it. I was asking for the ball that fell for Nunes. But he took that one brilliantly. Floated it over Courtois. Two away goals. Real Madrid's defense is in the mud. But guess what? It's 2-0 Barca. Two away goals. We're making it to the semis, boys. Come on. Oh, Shko could be mine. I won that. My shirt's getting pulled back, but I've got the pace. What a chance. Oh, come on. I took a heavy touch. Could have ended the game right there. 
Ah, big freaking miss, that one. It's hopefully not going to cost us. For Usman Dembele laid off to me. Nunes. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. This Darwin Nunes guy is insane. 3-0 Barca. We've just blown Real Madrid out of the water. And before you guys say sliders and all such nonsense, you know what? We'll clear it up. This is what I've been using in the player career mode, sliders-wise. I've reduced the error for the CPU, so they'll be more effective. Got their sprint speed and acceleration up, and still, we're killing it. We are. This Barca team is no joke, and this Madrid team is terrible. So, yeah, I'm not too surprised, but we're wrapping things up in the first leg itself. How mental is that? Oh, what an interesting pass that was for Iñaki as he tried to bring it down, but didn't work. But still, we're killing it, man. We're going to walk away with a 3-0 win at the Bernabeu. That's basically job done, even for the second leg. Like, remarkable. Opening up that space. Let's not give them any sort of hope. And they might be getting it with Davies. Why are they playing Davies on the right side? Can somebody please explain that to me? As Madison drops it off me. And Grimaldo wins it back. We'll take it. As we push for more now. Go on. Make some runs. Make some runs, Iñaki. I still get it to him. And Dembele isn't going to do much. Yeah, we give it away. Oh, bit of flair from Cedinho. But that's going to be it for the game. Did anyone even expect this? I don't think so. We've just beaten Madrid 3-0. And we're almost there in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Utterly ridiculous, guys. We're, we're coming for it. We absolutely are. Watch it. Drink it in. A 10 on 10 match rating in a Champions League quarterfinal against Real Madrid. All right, so pretty obvious that we're going to skip through the next game that we've got here. It's an irrelevant fixture because we're going to win it. There you go. And second leg against Madrid, it's more like a formality, but I still want to play this, guys, because it's Madrid. You know, we got to do it. We absolutely got to do it. Easy home leg now for Barcelona. Where have we seen this, guys? Where have we seen Barcelona win big in the first leg? And in the second leg, what happens? So, don't want to take my chances just yet. It's still Real Madrid we're playing. It's still a fixture where anything goes, but... Such a big advantage, man. We we cannot afford to bottle it. We need to beat Real Madrid here. And let's see what lineup. We're, we're pretty much rocking the same team, I guess. Madrid, I think Erdegaard, was he playing in that first game? Diaz Sanchez is playing at striker. Emerson, I think that is the Barca Emerson. He's playing at right back. Guedes, left back. Yo, how has he gone from playing center forward in a game to now left back? Yo, that is fraudulent stuff from Carlo Ancelotti. Well, we'll take it. L let's do our job. We're playing at the camp now to just enjoy ourselves, boys. And, you know, try out the new flare passing that we've got. Look at that. It's it's a new trait. We're just going to be having some fun here because the job's done in the first leg. Unless we play like Barca in real life. In fact, we might be looking for more. Ansu Fati got in behind well. Could be caught Oh, good challenge from Sirinio. We're seeing a lot of tackles from him, man. And oh, that, that turn of pace was class. Good release for Nunes. If he can play it back for Sirinio, close. But the turn of pace, the turn of pace is lethal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Good pass for Darwin Nunes. I'm going to ask for it back. It's a good ball. A diving header attempt. That was decent. That was decent. Deserved a bit better. Uh, if we could have placed it properly, we could be seeing 4-0. Good touch from Cedinho. Oh, that was nice. But why did he sidestep from the ball? I want to see what happened there. I did a fake shot. Did I get a nutmeg? Oh, 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 oh. A nutmeg on Tony Cruz. Oh, Eric Dyer? Eric Dyer. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Touch inside. Nutmeg. A. Hey. He couldn't do much more there, but the, the nutmeg was lovely. Look at that. Oh, Ansu, please play to me. What a pass. What a pass. Oh, I tried to chip it. Imagine. Imagine if I could get a bit more on that. The chip was the only option there, guys. But it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I'm frustrated. I think Messi's been brought on. Hey, let's go. Messi, Cedinho, Darwin, back to Cedinho. Here we go. Okay, that touch was so heavy. Unnecessary as well. We're going to try and take him out from behind. Oh, it's worked. What a challenge that was from Sidinho. We're trying to take him out. Instead, he gets the ball perfectly. Cut back for Leo. Oh, what a leap from Leo Messi. Did you guys see that? The intelligence is still there, even though he can't run. Ah, oh, man. De Jong, you had to put that in. Yo, we need a replay on that Messi leave. That was class. All right, guys. Look at this leave from Messi. The ball was perfectly for Messi. He saw De Jong there. 
Okay, it actually still touched him. Pretty sure it did. Yeah, that was... It, it literally went through his leg. Yo, what is this EA? This has been by far one of the deadest El Clasicos of all time. Like, literally nothing has happened here, guys. But we might be seeing some goals, maybe. Okay, don't play the cutback. Just go for goal, man. Go for goal. 4-0 on aggregate. Cedinho bagging yet another assist. We'll absolutely take it. Madrid are in the mud. Pass it on. We're coming to the semi-finals, man. Come on, let's go. What a goal from Darwin Nunes. Okay, okay, okay. They <laughs> what is Luis Alberto doing? Hey, we need a replay on that as well. We need a replay on that. He could have actually controlled it and gone for goal, but instead he does this. Look at this. <laughs> what on earth is that, guys? Inside for Cedinho. Maybe one from distance. Oh, please, Courtois. Let that go in. Needed a messy assist against Madrid. Hey, Vettel the King. What's up, dude? Could we get this? Could we get this? We can. Messi. Cedinho. Oh, oh, that was close. Again. How close are we to scoring tonight, man? Still 1-0 Barca. Madrid are out of the Champions League, that's for sure. But we're just pushing for more. Otherwise, having none of it, pretty much. Oh, good ball for Alfonso Davies. What? Fair play. Literally put his foot right through it. It's 1-1, but of course, 4-1 on aggregate. Alfonso Davies, interesting that he's playing as basically a right winger. Actually, maybe even as a right striker. I don't know what strategy this is, but he scored for them, so fair enough. Varane still not announced? What do you mean? Varane is announced already. Long time ago. Full time and well. El Clasico. Champions League. We get through Madrid. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Like, I really thought Real Madrid were going to give us a tough game, especially since what happened uh, earlier on with the penalty miss and all for Cedinho. We've got our revenge. And we did it in style. 4-1 on aggregate. Semi-finals. Here we come. All right. So, the the wait a minute. I'm pretty sure the draw has been made. Why is it not showing up there? We've drawn Chelsea, but it's not showing up there. Um, I don't really care about the next three La Liga games because we're going to win them. Watch. Watch, guys. We're yeah, we drew Espanyol. Please win. We won that. Okay. Huesca. There you go. Next episode... Couple of games against Chelsea, Champions League semi-finals. Let's take a look. It's popped up here. Liverpool Spurs, the other semi-finals. Yo, this is the best shot we'll have at winning the Champions League. It's three Premier League clubs and one La Liga team. Bit of a madness, if I must say. So myself, what about La Liga after, you know, those wins and one draw? Yeah, we're comfortable for La Liga. It's already done. Job's done in La Liga, guys. Absolutely job done. It's just about the Chelsea games. We've got La Liga to wrap up. Boys, we could be looking at... This is the final season, by the way, of Cedinho's journey on FIFA 21. And I want to end it with that Champions League trophy. So that's the that's the game plan. But if you've enjoyed today's episode of the My Player series, drop a like, subscribe. Next one, two games against Chelsea. High pressure. It's going to be amazing. Peace.